Hi, this is going to be a quick guide on how to run Dawn of War, the first game, and it'll probably work on all the way up to um, Soulstorm. Uh, just in ultra wide, and this will also work for 1920 by 1080 and all these other resolutions. Um, I am simply making it in a video form. Credit really goes to Gazskull from the Steam community and Yoris, as well as, I guess, the mod authors. Anyway, let's get into it. So, better bing, better boom. Basically, you're going to have to download two files. I will link them in the description. File number one, I'll open it up so that you don't freak out thinking, oh shit, it's a scam. Um, this website's pretty intimidating for new users. Just go down to where it says English, or whatever language suits you. In this case, English for me. What this is, is a hex editor. Um, you'll probably literally never use it again in your life, but it's helpful. There, just click here. It'll do the rest for you. I've already done this ahead of time. And Notepad++, which you might already have if you've modded other games. You can potentially just use normal Notepad, because it's just simple text editing. But, you know, you may as well get Notepad++. We click here, go with the latest version. Uh, I don't know the politics behind that, but we'll just ignore it. Just click download and set. <laughs> oh, that sucked. Yep, that's a fucking money shot for you. All right, so that once you've got those two downloaded and saved, what we're going to move on to doing is a blah, 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 blah. open your local.ini file for Dawn of War, which you can access via going to Steam. Go to your game, which mine is not here. Right click, properties, local files, and browse. That is the easiest way to do it if you don't want to navigate through your bloody thing. I'm going to scroll down until we find local, which is here. Double click that. If double clicking doesn't work, you may have to right click and go like open with, and then hit notepad or notepad++. So yeah, you can see edit with notepad++ here. I don't think you really need to, but, you know, do what you want to do. So if you just use normal notepad, it'll look like this. Now, what we're going to be looking for is... Uh, we're looking for screen height and screen width. Screen height. Screen width. I'm going to change those to what we desire. So I don't want 1920 by 1080. If you do, that's up to you. What I'm after is 2560 by 1080. It's shown here. But if you're, I'll put the values in the description so you can follow them. But yeah, it's simply all we're changing is screen height and screen width to 1920 and 2560 in my case. Yours might be 1080 by 1920. And that's it. Pretty simple. Now it's the hex editing stuff, which even I'm somewhat new to. I've done it twice. I think one of them was the Dawn of War 2. Can't remember. I can bugger off now. And as it says here, don't change your resolution in your options, otherwise it'll reset it. Now, this bit of advice here is all right. I'm actually going to add on to this, though, because if you've modded other games before, all you need to do to fix that is... Where's local gone? Right-click, properties, and make it read-only. That will prevent the game from updating that file. So even if you do go in here and accidentally, like when you're in-game, you accidentally change its setting, this will stop it resetting. So that, that part, fair enough, but yeah, you can fix that. Uh, now we've got to search and edit the hex values. Now that's going to be fun. Okay. So first and foremost, open warhammer40k.exe with your hex editor. I've got a little file here, just called the hexxd. File, open. I'm going to have to navigate to my libraries, which is somewhere. For you, it'll likely be wherever your Steam is installed. So on my end, it's in storage, uh, Steam library, Steam apps, common, and then find your game. Get Dawn of War... What the fuck? Is Dawn of War Gold where they've got Winter of Salt installed? Oh, it is under Dawn of War Gold. Okay, I had a feeling it was, but... No, look at that, I'm learning with you. Dawn of War Gold. Because it's back, I don't know if you remember the physical box copies. It used to have a red outline of plastic, depending on which brand, because there was like weird releases. And it had a line down the middle, and Dawn of War Gold had one side was the OG Dawn of War, 
And I can't remember if the gold version had the Space Marine with his helmet on or off, because there was two versions. And then on the other side, I had the Winter Assault, which I don't remember if there was differences in the covers. Anywho, now the first file we're opening is... Warhammer40k.exe, or W40k.exe. All right. Find that here. W40k.exe. I'm going to open that up in the hex editor. Oh, boy. If that doesn't make sense to you, trust me, I'm in the same boat. Control F, control F for the hex value A, B, A, A, A. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, we're going to half screen some shit here just to optimize our, uh, our space. Oh, boy, I've lost the thing. There it is. Okay. So we're going to highlight this. Control C. In the hex editor, Control F. Search for that. Can't find. Great start! What? Ah, hex value. That's, yep, that's what you're gonna change. So yeah, make sure you set it to hex value. And we're going to change that to that. So we're just gonna replace that with 398EE, boy, 398EE33F. Make sure it's set to hex values. Now this is for 16 by nine. Although mine's 21 by nine, which I think means we have to go to, he ah, here we go. So apparently we, okay, so if you're going 21 by nine, you do not want to change that. But if you're going 1920 by 1080 or one of the other similar normal resolutions, you do want to change it. So if you're going 21 by nine, do not change this first value like it says in this tutorial. But if you're going 16 by 9 or bloody 16 by 10, do you want to complete this step? Okay. Now. Now, for my instance, I will be changing platform.dll. Is here. You're going to change. Oh, shit. Platform.dll and search for the value, same value, funnily enough. A, oh, I can just control with this shit. Make sure it's set to hex values, find that value, and we're going to replace it with. For this again, 21 by 9, it'll be a different hex value to this. If you're using. 16 by 9, replace it with this. If you're using 16 by 10, replace it to this. If you're using uh, 20 bloody 21 by 9, you want to change it to this value. I'm using 21 by 9, so I will be changing it to this value. This tutorial is going to be pretty convoluted because uh, I am doing it as you are. But sometimes watching along helps people. So we want to change this to 26 B4. Oops, we want caps because these things can be sensitive. 1740. Why does that look wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. I uh, want to switch that to hex values. And okay. Beautiful. That's changed. Why that's showing in red, I think might just be because it's different. Uh, let's make it save. Beautiful. Next file is spdx9. That sounds like a direct x thing. Let's search the same value as we always do. Open the file first. That would help. S, so there it is. Search, and I just think I can just search replace. Yeah, I can. Now, again, SPDX9. You want to search for the same value here, except you want to change. If you're using 16 by 9, replace it with this. 16 by 10, replace it with this. I will include these guides in the description. I will also include these values in the description so you can just control C, control V, that shit. So, forget. 16 by 9, change it to this. 16 by 10, change it to this. 21 by 9, which is what I'm doing, we are going to change it to this. Search and replace. What happened there? 26B41740. Okay, there we go. So don't hit replace all, just hit replace. Save that. Beautiful. Next. Ah, now that we've opened up, 
user interface. We're going to search for this value. Make sure it again it's set to hex values, otherwise it won't show up. So find it. There it is. There should be two instances in this file according to the guide. So I'm just going to replace it. In your instance, if you're going 16 by 9, it will change to this. If you're going 16 by 10, oh, sorry, 16 by 9 will be this, and 16 by 10 will be this. If you're going uh, 21 by 9, it will be this, which is the same value for all. So just replace that, and then we're going to find the next as well. There it is. We're going to replace it as well, just like that. Now save file. Beautiful. All right. Now we're pretty well done in the 16x9 department. Close the hex editor now. That nightmare is over. Now we're going to download a camera zoom mod, which is simply to fix the wonkiness of the, like the map. Is this website here? I've actually used this a few times for Ultimate Apocalypse. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. What? Let's try and find another one. Alright, so the other mod had actually been deleted that was shown in these. So I'm going to test out using this different one that's designed for Soulstorm. All four of the original Lord of War games were all on the same engine. So I'm hoping that this will still work. Um, I'll let you know if it does. We're sort of in uncharted territory now. Uh, so what we're going to do is I've downloaded the file here. Okay. I had to do quite a bit of digging for a bit there. But the um, good news is, found a way to make this one work because the original has been deleted. So all you have to do is grab all the files from this download, which will show up here. Grab the files from them, open up your Winter Assault directory like we did before through Steam. So Steam, local files, browse, go into engine, and drop these files in here. Data. Apparently you do have to drop all three in, and we'll just kind of see how that goes. Like I said, the original mod is gone, so it's kind of guesswork at this point. But we'll see how that goes. Alright. Apparently that's everything we had to do. I'll leave those open for now, and we're just going to see what happens if we open the game. It doesn't crash, it's a great start. Sega. That's looking pretty promising. That's 21 by 9, baby! Looks like shit though, why does it look so bad? Ah, you see, it thinks it's running at 800 by 600. Is it though? Mm. The most obvious screen that's on is this. It looks very pixely. I think it means that it's being stupid. I'm gonna just set it to that and see if that changes anything. Hey, what's up? It's uh, editing Chris from the future. So I'm just showing because uh, when I was editing the video, I realized it didn't record properly. So I'll just be showing that uh, it does in fact launch in 21 by nine. The recording does not show it properly. I don't know why. God, my kids have put fingerprints everywhere. But yeah, it does actually play in 21 by 9. It just didn't record in 21 by 9 for some reason. I'll just skip all this. But yeah, it does actually properly show up, you know, like... I don't know why, but it just didn't record properly. So yeah, that's, uh... It does work. <laughs> it just didn't record. And remember, I did change that file to be read-only, so we'll see. Okay. Ah, so it's still 21 by 9, but it's up... It's... Okay, so that's a weird interaction, but sure, we're going to play along with that. Um... Yeah, apparently, if you change that file, just bump up your graphics. And, uh, yeah, it kind of takes care of the rest for you. Oh, it keeps the 21 by 9, which it still is, like, 21 by 9. It just improved everything. Yeah, it's not as blocky now. Cool! Just jump into a level, um, for the first level. Just make sure it's working in-game. We 
We're gonna test the actual camera zoom as well. Oh, the one that didn't work apparently. That's looking promising. Okay, minimap is bugged. We need though. reinforcements, but we must capture the camera following strategic points to establish a safe landing zone. Not too shabby. But otherwise, the game's running nicely now. Just the minimap's a bit fucked. Shit happens, I guess. Yeah, credit goes to Gaskell. Doris and uh, Inuris, he also gave comp uh, he also gave gave credit to Grandpappy Nurgle and uh, Shunny for making it all possible. So yeah, uh, credit to those guys. All I've done is make it in video form. So yeah, have fun.